Glitching AI Full Tutorial for Dropshipping. In this video, we are going to be talking about glitching AI and how you can use this incredible software for your dropshipping and make good source of passive income by using all the AI capabilities that glitching AI brings you. So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to glitching AI. And once we're into glitching AI, what we're going to do is we're going to create an account. The account creation process is really simple. It's, it's a basic sign up. So just go ahead and sign up for yourself. And once you do that, we're going to get straight into the main features of glitching AI. So once you sign everything up, you're going to come to this main dashboard. And this is what your dashboard is going to look like. So to start things off, it's going to give you dropshipping courses. Welcome to the, e you know, you get dropshipping courses, join discord calls, 30 days free for auto TS, etc. And then it gives you the different features that glitching AI brings you like glitch mode, AI product finder, product pages, and ads. Now, these are different features that you can correlate with each other, okay? And they all have amazing capabilities when it comes to taking you to the high rankings of dropshipping through SEO, okay? So, to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into glitch mode, okay? Now, in glitch mode, what you're going to do is you're going to come here and click on start glitching. Now, once you click on start glitching, it takes things in and starts loading them in. So as you can see, glitch mode will give you a random set of things that you can actually develop and add into your store as a drop shipping technique. So first of all, let's say it gave us a random product. So a random product is eternal rose box with engraved necklace and real rose. Then we have the store builder. We have ads and creatives, marketing plan and execution plan. So first of all, let's go into the product. So the product, as we can see, it has a sale price of $50. The cost is $10 and the profit that you get is $40. The wow factor is pretty good, which basically means that, you know, this will get you a lot of money. Saturation is mid. So basically that means that, you know, you have a 50 50 likely chance of actually getting profit out of this. Then you have profit margin, which is also very good. And the product market fit is also very good. Now, you can actually check this product out for yourself on different suppliers like Amazon, AliExpress, AutoDS. So let's say I want to check it out on Amazon. As you can see, it's going to take me straight through to the Amazon store, which is right here. So we have Eternal Natural Rose Box with necklace engraved. So here you can see the price for this is around $40. But the actual cost of it is $10. So the person who is selling this is going to get a whopping profit of around $25, which is pretty incredible, right? Now, moving on, we're going to go over to Store Builder. Now, in Store Builder, as you can see, you can create a product page like this. So, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to integrate your store onto this. I'm going to show you that as well in a few seconds. So, here we have the product page, and look at this. So, we have this product up here. And they've created us this whole repertoire over here. Eternal love box, unlock eternal love with a preserved rose and hidden necklace, lasts five years, personalized necklace, perfect gift for her, beautifully packaged, okay? And you can simply add this to your cart, which will go automatically to your Shopify store. And as you can see, you can choose different carts as well if you want to. Pretty incredible stuff. You can also see the brand colors that it gives you, brand font, recommended theme, which was the Shopify refresh theme. Store name could be Rose Surprise and the product name could be Eternal Love Box. Then moving on, we can go to ads and creatives. So here it shows you different ads that people have made on this product. So let's say I want to watch this ad, right? So what this will do is it will take me to TikTok or wherever the ad is on. And here we can actually see the video or the ad that people have made for this. Okay, so let me load things in. And here we are. So as you can see, this person has a whole video where they are showcasing the product. And just like this, you can get an idea of how the product works. And you can actually go ahead and create a video just like this. And you can see this video has pretty decent reach. So yeah, just like this, you can see the ads and creatives. And look at this, it's created a whole script for you to create an ad as well. So you know, unlock a timeless symbol of love and beauty. You have the narration, scene two, scene three. It keeps going on and on. And you can also switch to Meta from TikTok, and you can actually create an ad on your Meta website as well, which is pretty incredible in my opinion. These are pretty good sets of features that you can get for yourself when you actually want to do good marketing for any product that you have, especially when it comes to this type of dropshipping. All right. 
Now moving on, let's go over to the marketing plan. Now, as you can see, the marketing plan actually tells you who to sell, how to sell, where to advertise, and how to advertise. So who to sell to, we have romantic gift buyers, you know, special occasion gift shoppers, family-oriented gifts. Now, in my opinion, the best time frame to sell this product would be somewhere like Valentine's Day or maybe, you know, somewhere like uh, Thanksgiving or something like that. People like giving gifts in these areas, okay, these time periods. Now, when it comes to how to sell, they give you a proper feature-to-feature, step-by-step procedure, okay? So, symbol of everlasting love and romance, capitalize on the eternal aspect, etc. You can get unique and personalized gift experiences, an exquisite presentation and attention to detail. Now, where to sell, they say United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Mainly English-speaking countries are the best place to sell this. And how to advertise, they say the best place to advertise is Facebook ads. Because Facebook ads is obviously where Meta consists of. And Meta will give you the best creativity panel when it comes to creating ads for glitching AI. Okay? Now, moving on, finally, we have execution plan. So, the first step, you can set up the online store. The second step, you're going to find a supplier. So most people go with Deezers or AutoDS. Then we have ads creation. Okay, you can research your target market and competitors, analyze viral posts for insights and download the ads in the ads and creative section. And then finally, you have TikTok organic where you're going to upload ads to TikTok. You're going to make your ads paid in a few days through TikTok marketing or TikTok shop. You can also put up paid ads on Facebook. And then whenever someone orders, you can finally have your orders fulfilled. And once your orders are fulfilled, your customers are going to receive them. And then you're going to funnel some troubleshooting. A funnel is basically, you know, steps of different, you know, actions that trigger events when someone troubleshoots an issue. So this is basically how you're going to go ahead and use glitch mode. Okay, glitch mode basically goes ahead and gives you a whole repertoire of how you are going to actually work with the different products and product startings okay now before getting into any other thing also do understand that you're going to want to come to integrations and integrate your shopify store and auto ds okay because integrating your shopify store with your glitching ai is extremely important in my opinion so once you've integrated your you know basic shopify store into your glitching ai you can easily go ahead and get different templates and procedures of products straight into your store through glitching AI. And this is how AI basically works for you. You know, it gives you the whole repertoire of features to actually mess around with when it comes to selling products on different stores. Now, moving over, we're going to come to AI Product Finder. Now, AI Product Finder is the biggest game changer, in my opinion. And the reason that it's the biggest game changer is that you can actually find products that are going to give you good SEO, good rankings, and actually get you to the top of stores, okay? Because it gives you products that aren't really saturated and aren't a lot in demand. But obviously, if they come out in the stores, they're going to be in huge demand. This is the type of products that Glitching AI actually provides us, okay? So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to find products, okay? Now, what it does is it goes ahead and finds products throughout the database of different suppliers, of different e-commerce stores. And according to that, it gives you different products that are going to sell good. So let's say we have phone case ring, okay? Now, phone case rings sell price is around $35. The initial cost is $5.45, which means the profit we're going to get is $29.54 pretty incredible right now the wow factor is pretty good the saturation is really good profit margin is really good and the product market fit is good as well which means this product would be perfect to upload onto your stores okay it, will, it would actually get you a lot of sales because every meter of it is good and trust me glitching ai's analytic meter is really reliable so i would definitely tell you or you know give you a trustworthy experience with it now coming down here we have create product page and we have create, you know, add copy and scripts. OK, so you can create a product page by using the AI. OK, which basically creates a Shopify product page for this product. And then you can create ad copy and scripts, which basically means you're going to use AI to create meta and TikTok ads for this specific product. Then we can go over to add creatives again. 
which is the same thing that we saw in glitch mode, which is basically getting different types of advertisements for this product, okay? Now, once we have gotten an understanding of this as well, you can also scroll further on down to the target audience section, okay? And what the target audience section gives you is different things like social media enthusiasts and content creators who frequently use their smartphones for photography and live streaming, where you can get different marketing angles, versatile lighting options for perfect photos, convenience of integrated power source, and multifunctional design. So these are different marketing angles that would obviously work incredibly when it comes to this certain product, okay? Now you can move over back and see the different products you know, other than the actual phone case ring that we're going with, like plush sofa cover, the Winston, gentle swaddler, wireless earphones, curly, lamb's wool, and so much more. So it keeps going on and on. So basically, it's your choice to choose whatever type of product you want to go with. So let's say I want to go with the gentle swaddler, okay? I'm going to go over to this. Now again, the sales price is a whopping $30, but the actual cost is $1, which basically means a crazy profit. But obviously the saturation for this product is less because a lot of people buy baby products and a lot of baby products are displayed on the store, a lot like the gentle swaddle blankets. And obviously that will lead the saturation to be much, much less. And we can do the same that we did for the previous products, you know, create a product page, use AI to create Shopify product pages for this product, etc. okay? Pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. Now, once we have talked about this, let's go ahead and actually talk about saving products. So let's say I like this product. I'm gonna go click on save. Now what this does is it saves this to our main products. And now if we come over to the product pages over here, okay, we're gonna click on product pages. And once you click on product pages, it will basically take you straight into the product pages where you have saved your own products. So as we can see, these are products that I saved in the past using glitching AI. And this is the gentle swaddler that I just saved right now in front of you. Now, let's say I want to import these products. So to import these products, what you're going to do is you're simply going to click on the certain product that you want to work with. And as you can see, it goes into creating our product page. This takes a few seconds. Okay, it doesn't take a lot of time. And as you can see, we have a proper product page mockup. Okay. So in this product uh, product page mockup, we can see gentle swaddle blankets for newborns. Wrap your newborn in safety and comfort with actual gentle swaddles. Then moving on, you can see wrap your baby in safe, cozy comfort. We have different pictures with different descriptions, and you can choose to add any of these to your card. And you can import the product page straight into your Shopify store. You're going to select the theme you want to import it to. Now, mostly people use the refresh theme because that's obviously one of the best themes that work but you can also go with the dawn theme which is the default theme for shopify okay now moving on this is you know the the simple idea of product pages you know this is what product pages actually insinuate and give to us now let's say we want to go ahead with any other product page all right you can simply go ahead and regenerate this same product page that you have in front of you okay so as you can see it gets into regenerating your product page and once our product page is regenerated, you can see it's right in front of us. Again, different descriptions, different images, and just much different repertoires to actually work with. Now, moving on, once we have gotten an idea of this, we're also going to move over to the other settings that you can actually mess around with in this section. Okay, so first of all, we have course. Now, course is not necessarily a very important section in the glitching AI, you know, repertoire features, but courses are pretty helpful in the case that you are newly into glitching AI, meaning that you've newly started using it. Now, what courses do is it actually tells you each step. So if there's something you haven't understood from my video, you can go to courses and see all these courses for each module. So you have glitching, product selection, store setup, you have TikTok ads, TikTok organic, ad creation, Facebook ads, fulfillment, email, customer support, and a whole lot more. It keeps going on and on, and there's different resources and case studies that you can actually get a good idea of how glitching AI is supposed to work, okay? So just like this, you know, it's pretty simple to 
have a pretty good genuine idea of how we're going to work with gl glitching AI, okay? Now, moving on, what you can do is you can also go into glitching AI's ad section. Now, this is a section that is purely for ads. So any product that you go on, like let's say I'm going to go on this, the TouchLock Pro. Now, if I click on this, it starts creating advertisements for me, which is also a very good feature in my opinion. So you can get custom ads built for yourself. And the custom ads that you build, trust me, they work incredibly. So here we are. We have your brand name. Okay, you get an ad copy for this brand. You can see the different scenes. Child trying to open a locker without success. No app, no key, just your finger. Easy peasy. And as you can see, it keeps going on. You can regenerate different scripts. You can also regenerate the main, you could say, uh, look of the ad. And you can also switch it to meta. So you can see your brand name, say goodbye to keys and codes, scene one, narrator, scene two, scene three, scene five, scene six, etc. Keeps going on. So pretty easy, pretty simple, and pretty fun to get a main or you know consistent idea of how you are going to go ahead and create advertisements for yourself. Now moving on, let me also show you how you can import all these things to your Shopify store and work over there, okay? Because the Shopify store integration is really, really helpful. So let's say I'm going to go into continuing to integrate my store. Now, what you're going to do over here is you're going to enter your store URL. And here's the app token. Okay. Now, as we can see, my store is already connected. But I'm going to disconnect the store and give you a good idea on how we're going to do it. So what you're going to do is you are going to add your store URL and you are going to go ahead and add the app token. So let me open up my Shopify store on the right hand side over here. And let me take you through the steps on how we're actually going to connect it through our Shopify store. And once it's connected, how you're actually going to work with it. Now, once your Shopify store is set up, as you can see in front of you here, what you're going to do is you're going to come to your glitching AI and you are going to add your store URL and app token. Now, you're probably wondering where are we going to get our store URL and app token from? So what you can do is you're going to come to settings and here you have your store details. So what happens is you can find your store URL in the store details section or you can come over to domain and find your store URL over here. So let's say we have the store URL, right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to copy this. OK, so once you have copied it, you're going to come over here. You're going to add your store URL in this section. And now the app token comes. So let me tell you where you're going to find the app token. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to add apps and you're going to go over to your Shopify app store. Now, once you go to the Shopify app store, what you're going to do over here is you are going to go over to the app section and in the app section, you're going to go over to glitching AI. OK, now, once we write this in, you're going to search it up. Now, what this does is it gives you glitching AI's main app URL. OK, and you can also have your very own distinguished app token or app URL in a separate way if you have a proper Shopify partner account. OK, so you are going to come over here or one other thing that you can do is when you're in the app section, you can actually go into the apps and sale channel settings and you can create your very own application. OK, you can go to develop apps and here what it does is it gives you your app token. OK, and you can simply go ahead and add your app token into the glitching AI section over here. But generally, to connect your store, all you're going to need to do is add the glitching AI application from your Shopify store into this section. OK, and you can directly create your store from glitching AI as well by just clicking on create my store. And once you go over there it basically loads you in to the main app bundles that you have now over here, what you're going to do is you're either going to download auto DS or you're going to download any provider and then you're going to connect that directly to your Shopify. OK, and once you do that and you're done adding all your app tokens and all that is basically how you are going to be connecting your Shopify to glitching AI. OK, 
So that is basically how easy it is. And you can also get this video trial tutorial over here where they actually tell you how you are going to connect your store to Shopify. So you can see that they take you to the integrating section and over here, when it brings you to the store details, it's going to take you to the domain section where it's going to bring you into the proper app section. So as you can see, it takes you to the apps and sales channel setting. And what you're going to do over here is again, click on develop apps. And once you go over there, you can see you can access your API token from there. And once you get your API token added over here, and that is how you are going to connect your Shopify to glitching AI in the easiest and most simplest way. So basically, that's the main idea of Shopify and how you are going to go ahead and connect it to glitching AI and how generally you're going to use glitching AI's AI features to start off your dropshipping ventures in the easiest and most simplest way. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I hope you all have an amazing and incredible day. And I will be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.